Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going like itching my nose. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Kai. It's okay. I can't even talk to him. He's so mad at me. I'm disturbing his sleep right now. Apparently, he needs a nap. <laughs> so there's that. So hopefully, he can deal with this, okay? Um, my freaking coffee is leaking. It's leaking. All right, so listen. I want to do a video on the moon, okay? Scorpio moon. Um, let me just, let me pause this, okay? Um, I also just did a video on, um, how to book a reading for me, so please utilize that, okay? Um, because I feel bad when I'm going through emails and, it, and it's like, I'm, I'm like, da 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 and, and do you do personal readings, and you know what I mean? And it's like, all that information is on that one page, so... So utilize that about tab, guys, okay? Um, there's that, okay? <laughs> um, we need to work together on this, all right? It's like, yeah, A, it, it, it's my channel, but it's our channel, guys, all right? It, it takes, takes more than me, all right? It takes all of us, all right? The universe, putting us all together, all right? So there's that. So let's just do this. Okay. So with, let's talk about, I wrote down a few notes. Okay. The moon being in Scorpio guys. Okay. It's rough. Um, but it's good. It, it, it's more than good. It's awesome. Okay. It's awesome sauce. So like I'm a scorp rising. Okay. So when I get frustrated and I'm aggravated, I, I always usually relate to my scorp. So this moon energy is a little like, eh, you know, but it's also about rebirth guys. It, it's like the, the, the rise of the Phoenix. Okay. So it's like for you guys to like, for those who don't know what it means and you always hear about stuff like that, basically just, you know, like picture it in a different way. If you don't know the whole story like that, the whole mythological story, you know, just, just picture um, uh, this beautiful, huge mythological like creature, like coming out from the ashes, you know what I mean? And, and it's rebirth and it's, it's new beginnings and it's, it's taking flight and it's opening your eyes to new things and enjoying what's presented at the time. Okay. It's like, it's, it's the death card. Okay. It's, it's, it's rebirth. It's transition. It's, it's new beginnings. Okay. It's a chance to new beginnings guys. I'm not kidding. Like I love them. All right. Is it frightening? Is it scary? Is it like in your face? Boom. Yep. Okay. But it's okay. Like attend to what needs to come to your attention. Okay. Um, be determined. Um, it is hard. Okay. It, it is a fixed sign. Um, it is a water sign, so it can be emotional. It can bring up things that you don't want to bring up necessarily all the time. Um, things that you didn't want to acknowledge. All right. Um, it is ruled by Pluto. Originally it was ruled by Mars. So it's still Pluto and Mars, you know, before Pluto became Pluto, but, um, and it's connected to Neptune. Um, but I, I don't, I'm not going to get all I'm not, I'm not going to break that down for you guys. I, I do eventually want to break down different things. Okay. I explained all that in, in my last video. I just did briefly about booking readings. Okay. Um, but with Pluto, it, it's all about, well, it's a lot of things, but it's, it, it's finding the truth. It's picture this picture, like Scorpio, it's a scorpion. It's a stinger. Okay. Like, but the stinger, it digs deep guys, because it wants us to dig deep. It wants us to purge. It wants us to get all those things out. It wants us to look at different things. It wants us to release. It is, it is in the ninth house too. Okay. For those who are curious. Um, and, and that is all about like unconditional love, but make sure unconditional love is unconditional love. There's a difference. There's a fine line guys. And I'm like, some people will be like, Oh, you know, but I love him or her unconditionally. I don't think you quite know what that means yet. That's why I want to be able to break down certain things at, at, at certain moments. And another reason why I, I opted to do a donate button. Um, it took me a little while to go back and forth. People were asking and I, I didn't want to, but I opted to do it because it can be very beneficial. All right. Because it does, 
it does free up more time for me to, in a way it does most definitely frees up more time for me to come and do these videos, okay? So I don't have to um, do, well, I don't want to put it that way. I don't want to put it like get all these things so, you know, I don't want to put it that way. Um, it's just good because it, it's, it, it, it's good. Donations help, okay? Um, it helps our channel. I'm just going to put it that way. I, you know, you got to be real careful about how you word things these days too. All right. <laughs> Before the IRS gets involved and, and just, and stuff like that. But, um, goes to good use. It also puts me on the channel more. It makes, you know what I mean? I, I know you guys know what I mean by that. Um, anywho, with the whole Scorpio stinger thing, I know it was related somehow. Oh yeah. For us to like dig deep and, and find out what our purpose is. And, and for me, this is my purpose right now. Okay. And it will continue to be my purpose for probably until the day I die. Okay. It just, it's just a matter of like throughout the years, how I transition, how you transition, where it takes me. I'm always going to be working with the public. For some reason I turn into the love guru. I don't know how it happened, but it did. And I'm blessed and, and I'm very fortunate for that. Okay. I, I really, really am. Um, so let's just, you know, if you got to dig deep and, and you got to be stung, just deal with it. Okay. And I'm not saying that like, well, deal with it, like deal with it. Like, but just, you got to deal with it. Like it's at your attention. It's here. I mean, this is Scorpio season. Take advantage of a freaking rebirth. All right. And enjoy your life again. Literally picture yourself as a mystical creature or wings. However it is you want to picture yourself rising from the, the freaking ashes. Okay. To have a brand new beginning. Okay. Brand new. Do it. Make peace with Brothers, sisters, aunts, lovers, children, anything you need to make peace with, do it, okay? Because the divine is with this energy, okay? And it wants us to pave the way. And it, it's, it's guys, it's pure. It's pure. It, to me, it's like rebirth. It's purity. It's it's stunned fresh and looking at things in a new perspective. And it, from last night to tonight was like, whoa, for me, all right? Like, really like, whoa. Okay. Um, and it is going to be like that for some of you guys. It's so crazy. Like, oh, you're just going to have an epiphany. And it's like, it happens. Yeah, you do. You do actually just have an epiphany here and there. And it's like, okay, you know, like time to come out of confusion. And if you don't want to work with anybody and that person doesn't want to work with you to come out of confusion, then, then let it go. No matter if it's your twin, if it's your, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is about you, your rebirth, um, getting to the bottom of things so you feel better, so you can find your happy, so you can get out there, so you can enjoy life, so you can feel the motivation, you can feel the vibration, you can feel all these things changing. Okay, that's key. Key, 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 key. Okay, um, if you if you have to deal with the past, deal with the past. Obviously, we all have a past, all right? Let's Let's deal with it. If the other person's willing to work with you and talk about it, talk about it. All right. Deal with it. Move forward. Complete things. Um, things are going to come up that are like near and dear to your heart. And it's like, it's what it's supposed to do. Okay. So be okay with that, ladies and gents. All right. I'm not kidding. Um, just be okay with it. And you know, I, I learn, you learn, um, I go with the flow. You go with the flow. It's not, it's not easy. It's not the easiest thing, but it, I also know it's the right thing. And do I have, you know, my things? Yeah. Yeah. We, we all do. Okay. And, um, there's that. And I just got sidetracked guys. Game seven. Did you see game seven? Oh, it was awesome sauce. All right. My son was, I went with my son and, uh, he's like, ma, can we get season tickets? you know, next year. I, I know I totally changed the subject. That's because I was done with that and I was moving on to my cards, but I had to bring that up guys. Cause it was amazing. So if you're a Buck fan, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but anywho, I, I did have a couple Buck fans behind us and, um, it, I, you know what, at one point I, I was just enjoying myself, but at one point I wanted to just turn around and be like, can we, can we balance out the playing field? Like, you don't have to like boo or, <clears throat> or you suck or blah, blah, blah. Like I understand it's sports and you're rowdy and you know, I get like that, but I've always been that person. Like 
I remember in the beginning, it was actually last season with the Celtics. Um, I went to a couple games and I'm that person, like it would get real quiet and I'd be like, all right, come on boys, you got this. Or, you know, it's just, it's who I am. And there was times where I think last year was about, I think it was, um, it was fr a free, free throw. And who was it? Was it, wasn't Isaiah? Frig man, who was it? But I don't know. I was like, can we, I'm like, come on boys. Can we play as a team? Like this is a team, this is a team sport. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, the, the boys would look up or whatever and, and they laugh and, you know, the crowd around me is just like, Oh my gosh, I love you. And both yes, that I call. And it's like, sometimes I'm like, you know, is it, but it's not, it's not, it's not quiet time. Be you is what I, what I'm getting at. You know what I mean? Like, if I, if I shout and, and it's quiet all of a sudden, but I have something to say, it's not like, oh, I want the attention. I want to be heard. It's just, it just comes out. <laughs> but obviously you guys probably know that by now. Cause hello, have you met court? Like, hello, court here. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. We had a stinking blast. It was, it was amazing. Um, I'm going to try to get, try to get into other games, but, um, basketball is my favorite. All right. Then football. Um, that's it really. <laughs> my ex was a huge huge baseball fan and it was like i don't mind going to the games okay that that's a whole nother story going to the games is a whole nother story watching on tv is like eh. yeah but i also there was a couple years i actually liked it um but that's when there was good players you know there was manny and I, i'm talking like uh, i can't even think now but I, i'm talking it was some good ass freaking players those couple years i'll tell you that I don't know why I'm spacing them. I think maybe I try to X out the the sports. My ex-husband, let me tell you, sports year-round, all right? If, if base, baseball was his favorites, but if that was done, you know, it was on to the next one. If that was done, I'm talking like tennis would be on, okay? And if it wasn't tennis, it was like a ping-pong match. And, and if nothing was on, I, he'd be watching like poker tournaments. I'm not kidding. Okay, so it's kind of ironic. My son is a huge, huge basketball. His number one in football. Um, you know, and then I go in the other room and my daughter's watching, you know, all the horse equestrian things. And I'm big on horse racing. All right. I kind of, um, I love my little horses. Not so much like I used to. I know I got real sidetracked, guys, but it's not like I was so done talking. It was just caught getting pumped telling you about the game all right but so i'm utilizing this energy guys all right i wanna i wanna clear up confusion when it comes to anything confusing in my life and if if i have to go about it on my own to get closure or or anything like i will like do you have like do i have my moments absolutely but I don't know. You just kind of wake up one day and you just look at things differently. And that's an amazing thing. Okay. So be okay with that. All right. Uh, I know it's a love channel. So, you know, if you're dealing with your twin or your life partner, or your soulmate, whomever you're dealing with at the time, and you know, you haven't reached out in a while and you don't want to. And if you're feeling the need, then you know what, go ahead. But speak from the heart. And, and be honest, okay? If they don't respond, they don't respond. But I need you to get closure from it, okay? Because now is this energy to really take advantage of that because the divine is like, let's close this door, all right? The divine is literally bringing in life partners and, and twins. And this is the season for that. I don't want you all getting stoked, all right? Get excited, yeah. But like... <laughs> Don't, it, it might not happen for all of you. It just, it doesn't work that way. Okay. It just depends on how people utilize the energy. It takes two or three or four or a freaking village, depending on what it is you're trying to conquer. Okay. So be a team player, be true to you, be honest and get out what needs to be getting out. All right. If, if it stings, it stings. Okay. But get it out because at the end of the day, you become pure again, okay? So enjoy the purity because it's beautiful, beautiful. 
Um, and anywho, before I start doing this, I love my new canvas, my painting, okay? But I will tell you, this was supposed to come framed, and it did not. So they're sending me a new one framed. But I also didn't realize it was coming from Beijing. So <laughs> there's that. But I love it. I love it. I love it. Love the color. There's so many cool things in this, guys. If you ever, like, if you just, like, as you're watching me, you can get lost in it. All right? It's beautiful. But be be that beast if you need to be that beast, okay? I'm not kidding. Something stings, you know, deal with it, you know? Don't don't cover it up with a band-aid this time around, guys. This this Scorpio moon is is, is not for anything to be covered with a band-aid. I'm not shitting you. Okay? So, I'm going to begin my reading. I know you guys love to time stamp, but um you probably shouldn't time stamp my energy videos, ladies and gents, I gotta crack my window. Uh, you know, I know plenty of you will, but um, if you do, you do. It's fine, okay? Um, so be it. But I'd really like you to um, listen to me talk. All right, they just didn't make me the love guru for no reason. All right, I don't know how it happened, but it did. But it did, but it did, but it did. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see what kind of energy we're going to be dealing with. Rat race, huh? <laughs> Let's skip that. Sorry, Bob. All right, Ziggy. What do we got? True to myself. Uh, yeah. All right. Perfect way to start off my reading. There's that. All right, let's enjoy the freaking Scorpio energy, ladies and gents. Rebirth, reconnection, purity. Let's do this, guys. All right. Cheers to fresh new beginnings with or without the old. All right. On to the new. On to the new. If something didn't benefit you, I guarantee you, you hash that out. You get to the bottom of it. Here comes your life partner. Here comes... Here comes what's, what's deserved, if you deserve it, okay? And I got the ton of cups in the back. All right, yo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Tell me what's up with this uh scorpion energy. Come on, what do we got? Straight from the source, yo. Straight from the source. What are we looking at? The hanged man. Spirit of the mighty waters. All right. This makes sense, okay? Because I know y'all don't like spiritual halts. Who does, okay? Um, but it also changes your perspective, okay? Um, it also makes you think like, well, let me get another card so I can break it down on, on what, what it is before I get ahead of myself. Cause I can go in like 10 different directions with that one. All right. But it's, it's a beautiful thing, guys. I promise you that. All right. It is about changing your perspective and having a new outlook and, and growing and growing. All right. Seven of Cups. Lots of you are going to have plenty of options, okay? Some of you, it might be illusionary to you. Um, and I can't say if it is or, or it's not, okay? I, I don't know how it's going to make you feel. Um, for me, this is about having options, okay, on what direction you want to go because this is rebirth, okay? This is the death card. This is scorpion energy, all right? So figure out which option you want which 
option benefits you? Which option puts you on your path? Which option makes you feel true to yourself? Okay. And I love how it's like Saturn and Mercury energy, Venus, like Mars. Okay. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to go down on you right now. All right. So it's the universe. All right. So it's universal beginnings and halts and awareness and direction and purpose and, and finding you. And I know I keep saying this, guys, but I, I can't stress enough how beautiful Scorpio energy is. Um, can it be intimidating and scary and heart-wrenching? Uh-huh. Okay. And I just got the chills and it is okay. It is a huge wake up call. Um, doubts, fears, you know, speak them, write them. Um, be honest because the person who's meant to be will be, and they want honesty. You expect honesty, right? So go with the flow. If something's not working out, and you've been trying for a long time, leave it behind, all right? If it's not in your life right now and you're still waiting, leave it behind. It can come back around. And, and if it does, that's when it's time. But until then, don't you want to be happy? Don't you want options? Don't you want to, to move with the energy as you as you walk your everyday life and, and do what it is that you do, okay? Um it was reversed. So, so a lot of people have a hard time dealing with that kind of energy. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, take the options that are presented to you. Um, I'm not kidding. It's all about the hangman. Hangman, please. The hangman, please. Tell me about the hangman. Ace of Cups, guys. Okay. So, obviously, it's, it's, it's love. But I will tell you, it's, you know, it's water energy, too. Just like Scorpio energy, guys. Um, It's self-love. It's, it's new love. It's, it's expression. It's. It's emotions, it's thoughts, it's, it's purity, it, it's truth, it's it's spiritual, it's it's a lot of things, guys. And and to me, it's it's precious and it's a brand new opportunity. All right. So if you want to restore something, restore something. If you don't, move on, move on, because the universe will send you new opportunities. Seven of them. <laughs> seven of them, yo, seven of them. I got like seven right now. It's like, where did they all freaking come from? And it's not just love. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's life. It's general. It's like, where are you moving court? You, you're going to leave the state. You're going to stay in the state. Uh, are you going to stay at uh, you? So many things are now going to be like, whoa. And, and some are going to be sad and some are going to be happy. And, and if they're sad and you're angry, look at them in a different way. All right. Look at how it will benefit you or that other person. Okay. I mean it. Uh, tell me about the universe. All right. So it's the three of wands. Yeah. It's, it's your future. Have strength. Have strength to be at one with, with you and, and find direction in your life. Um, this energy, guys, it excites me, okay, because is it scary and intimidating and all that? Yeah, it, it sure is, guys. It, it sure is, all right? Um, but you also know when it's time for a new chapter in your life, right? So change your perspective if you need to, all right? Don't. Don't have the universe break things down so it gets harder for you and more strenuous because you didn't want to to dig deep and, and find the root of issues, okay? Um, don't do that, guys. I, I put a lot of heart and love 
out when I do these videos for you guys because it's important to get certain messages out and, and it's important to, to be free and, and be happy. All right, don't... I wanted to talk about judgment, but this has nothing to do with judgment, but... Like, this almost reminds me with the wings here. It, it almost reminds me of the phoenix, too. It, I mean, it's not, but, like... <sighs> Enjoy this, guys. Enjoy it. <laughs> Normally, I say work with energy, but this time around, I'm like, freaking enjoy it, because there's no way you don't feel these changes. There's no way. And it was just like that. Okay, so... There's that. I love this song. What else do you want to tell me? What else do you want to tell me? Besides the fact that I, I, I truly love you guys. And I love what I do. And I could cry. Because I love you guys. <laughs> it's my queen bee. It's the one that's like, I'm not taking no more bullshit. And I'm going to walk around the village. And I'm going to show everybody that I chopped your freaking head off. <laughs> so don't be that rough but at the same time stay determined stay focused you know um the queen of swords is somebody who's focused and and she's logical and she doesn't take bullshit but she she also thinks things through and she's smart about the decision she makes okay so to me right here this is determination and focus okay N not on not on chopping anyone's head off. And it's funny because in another video I said, you know, I said, you still might got a little bit of a chance. I mean, it's she still is holding your head. She didn't quite throw it in the volcano yet. <laughs> that video was pretty funny. Some Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so funny. And, da -da 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 -da. and I'm like, really? Like me funny? And then I look back, I'm like, all right. Like I know I'm a character, but like, I don't know. Sometimes I do say stuff while I'll go back and I'll be like, holy shit. Like, now what's funny? You know, it's, it is moments like this, but I, I speak from the heart and I speak from the truth and you know, there's, there's gotta be some love here. All right. As, as, as much as there's, there's hatred. And, and this gentleman looks awfully freaking scared to mess with Queen B right here. But, um, man or woman. Okay. Just stay determined and cut through the bullshit that's in your life that no longer serves you. Do you understand me? I hope you understand me. Freaking smell the roses, ladies and gents. Like, smell them. Smell them. All right? So, there's that. Um, I don't know. I'm just ready to embrace life and freaking get on this freaking train and go. I ain't shitting you. Even if I, I stay where I'm at, it, it's still changes the dynamics of everything it's it's it is what it is okay so i'm gonna throw some lesson cards for you but i will tell you um let me see if i can break it down this way i never actually try to to do it like this but i'm actually going to do something right now all right but i will tell you with the hangman it's changing your perspective you are going to have plenty of options you don't necessarily have to go with the old you don't have to this isn't about old energy coming back at you either this is just kind of like what do you want to do? You know, do you want to move forward or, or, or do you want to move forward? <laughs> I know that made no sense, but like, I'm not trying to say like, oh, your past is coming back like retro. I mean, Pluto is retro right now, but that's not like anything like Mercury retrograde, guys. It's, it's not like that. It's all about moving forward and, and being and, and being a brand new person. All right. Um, changing your outlook and having you know, options when it comes to new opportunities that it's self-love or, or new love and, and just staying persistent and, and stay focused and have the strength to pursue your future. That's it. All right. That's it. Enjoy the freaking scorpion energy, please. All right. But if you, with when it comes to options, like if you want to hash out the past with a twin or, or an ex-lover or, or a family member, then do it. All right. If it's something that stings and needs to be brought to attention, then, then do it. Okay. Because it's, it's, you have to step out of that. It's time. Like don't dwell on the past. Like is, is, do you have, can there be regret and sorrow and this, this and that? But yeah, but like F that, like be that queen bee and, and, and nudge that shit out to move forward. Especially if you have a lot of residual 
with any past person or any past issue, okay? Um, it's not saying necessarily cut them out. It's just saying be logical about what you bring into your future, okay? Because if you do it smart, it's just a smart idea. <laughs> I want to do things a smart way, all right? Like, I'm done. Done, 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 done. Confusion will always come and go, but I'm done with past confusion. I want, I want present confusion or future confusion. That's it. Like confusion is hard enough. Never mind carrying three of them. All right. Like, damn. No, thank you. So I am going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work, but I, I don't know why I was just tempted to do it that way. But let's, let's see like a lesson for like the hangman, like what are people really going to be hung up on? All right. So tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman. I guess we can see if it works this way. Why not? All right. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. That makes complete sense. Like, duh, it's the hangman. It's all about changing your perspective. So that's actually brilliant. All right. It is about Listening to both sides, seeing both sides. If somebody doesn't agree, then somebody doesn't agree. Agree to disagree. All right. Unconditional love also is unconditional compromising. Unconditional truth. Okay. It's a lot of things. So that makes complete sense. So when it comes to changing your perspective, a lot of people are going to have to stop being so jaded. Okay. Bottom line. Uh, I'm a no bullshit and I'm going to tell you how it is. All right. So there's that. Make sure you really try to understand both sides of, of this scenario for whatever is presented in your direction with this energy. Okay. Um, I don't really need to clarify options. All right. I, some, will some of them be illusionary? Yeah, but some of them won't be. All right. Don't overthink shit. Um, well, I guess let me throw one and see if I can correlate it. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. <laughs> all right. So I guess it correlates. All right. So opportunities. All right. So yeah. So see, don't tell yourself, court. Don't tell yourself. Um, don't, you need to understand that past mistakes are only new opportunities. Okay. They're, they're lessons learned and don't be afraid of failure. And I've said that plenty of times. Don't be afraid of a freaking outcome. Don't. You know how Core feels about that, all right? You need to understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn to move forward. Tell me about the universe, please. Tell me about the universe, please. The universe, the universe. Tell me about what the source has to say. What does the source have to say? Freedom. Freedom. Go be a free bird. That's not what it means, but yeah. <laughs> I pose the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Hell yeah, because then it's the ace of cups, all right? So take your power. Take your power back to, to feel that freedom, to go after that freedom. To be that new person that you're craving to be inside. Take the inner beast and let it out. I'm not shitting you. I'm not. All right? Create your own freaking happiness, ladies and gents. Tell me about my ace of cups. My ace of cups. My ace of cups. And I will tell you guys one creative. Um, one creative. I don't know where that came from. Um. I will tell you one thing personal. All right, I know I share here and there. But um, what I'm excited about is I am working on a deck of cards. All right. My own deck. The first of many. Okay. This song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Anywho. All right. Anywho. Anywho. With the Ace of Cups, we got gratitude. I am thankful for that life, about life opportunities and what is presented. 
I am so glad I did this. All right. This is why I love what I do. This is why you guys love me. This is why I love me. <laughs> so be ever so grateful, okay, and thankful for any opportunity that presents yourself, that is presented to you. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to fail at something. Go seize the freaking opportunity. All right. Whew, love it. All right. Tell me about my queen bee. Tell me about my queen bee energy. What's up with my queen bee? What is up with my queen bee over here? I needed a smile. That is for sure. Doubt, all right? Doubt. I did talk about doubt, all right? Release the need to know all the answers, ladies and gents. Like, for real, like, move forward with perseverance and logic and determination. And don't... Don't doubt your ethics. Don't doubt your thoughts, your future, your opportunities. If it feels right, go after them. All right. Tell me about everyone's future, the three of wands. All right. It's, it's strength, guys, to pursue all these new opportunities that are coming your way. I freaking love me. I love me and I love you guys. I'm not shitting you. All right. Is it a new me? Yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm still me, but um, I'm a happy me. All right? No matter what comes my way, guys, I, I know what's coming my way, and I got some hot shit coming up my way. All right? But um, it's all right. All right? We're going to be fine, all right? I'm not, I'm not worried, all right? Change. Hell yeah, change, all right? Just like I just said, I understand that nothing can grow and evolve without movement, all right? It is change. The three of wands is all about your future. It is movement. It is change, guys. I love you guys. I love my mysticals. I really do, all right? So I was going to break it down, but the three of wands would change, all right? I'll get, I'll get to it. It's, it's change, guys. It's your future, all right? But with the hangman, it, it is about seeing both sides of a situation, all right? Complete sense. Look at both sides of a situation as you make your decisions with these opportunities that are coming your way. Are some of them illusionary? Have you failed at some of them before? Yeah. But don't don't let that stop you. Do you understand me? Do not let that stop you. It's an opportunity for learning. All right. The universe, it's 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 freedom. It's it's the power. And it's it's the power to create who you want to be. A, a new beginning. It's it's all about your happiness and how you want to pursue it. Okay. Um, let's listen to the song. It's like, yeah, you know, what a wonderful world. And it's, we have wonderful moments and we have devastating moments and we have tragic moments and just keep wishing on stars and, and keep, being optimistic and um, don't let doubt, don't don't let things slow you down, guys. All right, the universe, the world can be harsh. We all know what kind of world we live in. All right, so do the best to protect you and your family and your friends and your thoughts and and that's it. All right, love, 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 love. Ace of Cups, gratitude, be thankful for this life and the opportunities that present themselves. Like, hell yeah. Like, I can't believe how much these correlate. I'm not kidding you. All right? Like, I blow my own mind sometimes, guys. All right? I, I learn by making videos for you guys. I'm not shitting you. I'm definitely not better than anybody else. All right? There's, there's, like I said, the whole reason why I did this channel is there's no way that I'm the only way that thinks the way I think, guys. All right? I'm blessed. You're blessed. We're all blessed to have each other. So the Queen of Swords, don't doubt, all right? Re release what needs to be released, like I said. And don't worry about having all the answers to, to all those options. Just wh whichever one makes you happy, just be determined to stay on course. And the Three of Wands, it, it is your future. It is waiting for your ships. And, and here comes the change, all right? And and you got to understand with the Death card, it is freaking change. All right, it, it is understanding that things have to change and evolve. So 
they can't, things can't evolve guys and grow without movement. And it's water energy too. So it's like, It takes water to grow earthly things, I guess. Makes I was looking at my cat, even though it has nothing to do with what I was saying. But, like, I, I just well, I look at all these things, like, growing and, and new opportunities. And, you know, you, you need you need, you need need all the elements, guys. I, I was just going to get lost, and I, I don't want to get that lost right now. But three of wands, like I said, change. You know, nothing can grow involved without movement so i mean this is freaking phenomenal i mean phenomenal i'm just like amazed i love when i blow my own mind i love you guys so much all right so enjoy the energy guys um embrace it it's life-changing this isn't normal it just isn't normal energy like, this is probably my favorite, all right, because I like when the outcomes are pure. And if it comes from your heart and you're true to yourself and you have true intentions, it's pure. And how can you go wrong with pure intent? Can something not go your way? Yeah, but don't. That's okay. On to the next. All right. You got seven freaking opportunities. You got six more sitting here. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, come on. Like six roses, six cards, six of those, six, six, six. That's like a huge, huge gateway. I used to be scared of six, six, six. And it was like, I forget the whole, the meaning behind, um, Six six six. Look at my friend just texting me out of the blue. Ash, love you. Yeah, I love you too. All right. See, just, just be so true to you. All right. That's it. Um. Spiritual meaning of six six six. I know it's like a huge portal because I I know like one of the most spiritual days is Halloween because of the portal. Um. Oh, it's keep catching. It's catching what I'm saying. Let me stop yapping for a minute. <laughs> Spiritual meaning of 666. According to Joanne's sacred scribes, angel number 666 tells of the ability to use the imagination to confront and combine to bring about positive outcomes. When six are appeared repeatedly, your angels are telling you to be aware of the balance for thoughts, worries, or concerns about material and financial issues with the focus of faith in the spiritual. Yeah, it's just all about having faith on the spiritual stuff. It's, there's so many different, there's so many different meanings, but it is all about you know the ability to use your imagination and intellect to combine, you know, positive outcomes, and and all this is positive outcomes, guys. So it definitely correlates. I could definitely get into it, but um, freaking getting hot flashes. Okay, it's a wake-up call to re-examine re your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts, which is all about the hangman, all right, and change and all the stuff in between. You want your freedom. You want growth. You know, be grateful for what you have. These new opportunities that are coming your way, don't don't doubt things, all right? That's why that's why we're in hangman mode, so we can change this, all right? Um, it also means you're aligned, all right? It's a soul level. It's, re it's, you know, it's, you choose to be reincarnated, all right, to, to accomplish certain stuff, all right? So that's all about, you know, the rise of the phoenix, everything I kind of went through. I love how all my things correlate. But um, it says you are in manifest ma manifestation to a universal mind. I meant to mention that all about manifestation. This is a time for that too, but um, to me, manifestation can happen at any time, any any time of your life. Is a, is a, obviously there's a certain time. It's a, to me, it's not like that. The divine is always with you guys. Spirit's always with you. Does it take time to manifest to, to something to come into fruition? Yeah. You can wish on a star a year and it can take a year for something to come into fruition. You guys need to understand you don't just throw a freaking coin in the wishing well and, and poof, here it is. It, it's not like, 
even the genies in the bottle, man, they, they exist. They got work to do. I know I'm not crazy. I'm telling you, it takes time for things to align. All right, the whole genie in the bottle maybe sounds crazy, but not a whole mythical part of another part. It makes sense. All right, but like, they are here to grant wishes and they want the best. But guys, it takes time to align things. Believe that. So be patient. And I know it's hard, but... Be patient, okay? Um, but it is this little thing. It says, watch your thoughts as they become words. Watch your words as they become actions. Watch your actions as they become habits. Watch your habits. They become character. Watch your character for it becomes your destiny. That's beautiful. There's a powerful connection between the dollar and Taco Bell. Transform your life with positive thinking. What should you do next? Yada, yada, yada. I done all that. All right. So what a beautiful reading, ladies and gents. All right. Again, I'm so happy I'm here. I'm so happy life is changing. Um, I'm so grateful to have you guys. Um, like I said, you enjoy the energy, go into it, very positive, um, new outlooks. I, I know you guys are itching for something, itching for new tattoos, itching, I'm telling you, I know. I'm itching for a lot of things, <laughs> all right? So it's like, trust me, I, I know, I know, ladies and gents, I know, okay? So I, I just wanna say thank you to all you guys. I appreciate you guys, I, I appreciate everything. Like I said, um, before I even put the donate button up, I will tell you, people will, like send me gift cards through Amazon. It's just, I am so forever grateful. And sometimes I know you guys want to push things along and so things go quicker. And I get that because I, I go through that. But I will tell you, if you sit back and you think for a minute and you, you tally things up, or you, I mean, you really think. I'm telling you, you have so many things to be grateful for. Don't don't sit in petty shit no more, ladies and gents. All right? Don't don't do it. So, cheers to fresh new beginnings and cheers to our channel, okay? Understand that, believe that. Um these are very important messages. Watch this twice. Six times if you want. <laughs> All right? So, that's a that. I love you guys so much. Kai, tell everyone you love them. Kai? Kai, Kai. Are you looking at me? Kai, Kai, tell everyone you love them. Why not? All right, go go be you guys. Go be you. Go enjoy life. I love you a whole bunches. Bye, guys. <laughs>